Uh, these are the extra comments in relation to the Lebesgue extension theorem and the way I proved it. Uh, it was brought to my attention that in the second part of the proof I made an omission and the omission was that when I made a step here um, I didn't realize, actually I didn't took into account that uh, this union is not pairwise disjoint uh, and that's why I cannot replace the measure of the union as a sum of the individual measures. Uh, in these comments, I will fix this omission. In order to fix this omission, we have to develop a little bit more subtle approach. Uh, we have to, in fact, disjointify the sequence A and dash. Uh, we have to do it in a standard way, so we have to introduce a new sequence of subsets, like this. We set B1 to be A1 dash, and we set Bn to be this uh, set difference uh, because uh, everything is finite here the new sequence the sequence bn is also the element is a, is a sequence of subsets from the minimal semi minimal uh, minimal enveloping ring uh, also we observe that actually the partial unions of the original a and dash sequence coincide with the partial unions of the new bn sequence but this time the units will be disjoint so here when i prove the claim that this series is finite. In fact, now I will prove different claim. I will prove that only the sequence of Bn's, of measures of Bn's, is finite. Uh, and we do it in the same way. We have this partial union, which coincides with this partial union, and we know that the measure of this partial union is uniformly bounded. So I step down here, and here we'll have the partial sum of Bn's, which is uniformly bounded. That's why this series, this series, is uniformly bounded. Now, because this, sorry, that's why the series is converging. Because series is converging, I have to find the, I, I can I can find the integer n epsilon such that the tail of the series is less than epsilon. And now, look what I'm going to do. I'm going to now do the splitting. Again, I will take as a dash this partial union, which now, in fact, can also be expressed in terms of the similar partial union of Bs. Uh, now I will observe the following identity. If I call, if I call a not dash the complete union, the countable union of a and dashes, uh, we know that the countable union of a and dash coincides with a similar countable union of b n. And here, here it is. I just split it into subunions. First part is is the one which corresponds to my choice for the a dash. The second part because it's a disjoint union now, its measure is less than epsilon. So if, remember, I call the first part in this union is A dash, and that's the element of my minimal ring. This one I will call A double dash, and we know that the measure of this is less than epsilon. Now, I need a replacement for this embedding, so I will remove this embedding. Let me just move it aside. For the time being, and as a replacement, I I claim the following embedding that the symmetric difference of A and A dash, this A dash, is a subset of A symmetric difference with A not dash, so the complete union, and this little tail A double dash. Uh, if you believe in this identity, I'm not going to establish it, I just leave it for you to think about that, but it's relatively simple identity. I will also put an extra that this bracket, this bracket is in fact can also be embedded further into the, into the union like this. into the union like this, because remember A is the union of ANs, A dash not is the union of complete union of A and dash, we can just replace it like that, and now we can do the same est estimate, the external measure of this thing, here it is, is controlled by the external measure of this bracket, which is less than external measure of this individual uh, differences, and that's how we est estimate that, plus the external measure of this piece, which is, I have to correct it here now, which is the 
tail of this series of measures of the ends, and altogether this is less than two epsilons. And that is the extra alterations we have to do in order to do in order to fix this problem with the not with the sequence not being pairwise disjoint.